men cannot just dust themselves off from false accusations to get on with their lives. This video is going to prove it. Colonel Kurtz here and Andrea Burkhardt discuss Marilyn Manson settling with one of his false accusers. And guess what? There's another group of them coming after him. Let me show you. The first uh, complaint I'm going to hold up that has been filed uh, names on on the plaint and the plaint as the plaintiff as Jane Doe. So first thing you notice is that because they don't allow her uh, identity out, so this woman, this false accuser, is guaranteed to have zero consequences for the lies she tells. Okay, and notice there's another group of women, and I'll say it over and over again. Women don't like men. They're hostile to us. That's why they're willing to get together and just attack a man, right? And it identifies uh, the rapist to be Brian Warner, also known as Marilyn Manson, who first began to rape her as a youth and then continued into her adult years. So he just slandered his reputation. And you know why he feels he can get away with this? I believe because he knows that Manson is under siege and he's trying to defend himself on multiple fronts and he has no time to go after this guy. So that's what you're up against, guys, right? And here's another group of women. Again, women don't like men, and they're hostile to us. And they're willing to go after men just for the sake of it. This is not about money. This is about get the man, okay? And we'll get into this video, and just keep in mind, these women, being women, will never have to suffer what Marilyn Manson goes through. Keep that in mind when they're talking. I'm here with Andrea Burkhart and haven't talked to her in a while, but I thought today would be a good day because there is, as you may know, some big news in the Manson case, the Marilyn Manson case, particularly Esme Bianco's lawsuit. You know, you may know that Esme Bianco, a while back, she filed a, a $10 million lawsuit against Marilyn Manson for sexual assault and harassment, various other things various other forms of abuse that she claimed uh, and so anyway that's been going on for a while it's been making its way through the the litigation process and and found out just last night that esme bianco has settled her lawsuit with manson for an undisclosed sum and both uh, Bianco and Manson's attorneys released statements, but they were very brief, really didn't tell us anything other than Miss Bianco has decided to move on with her life and has settled with Manson. And so Manson has not been vindicated in any way. That's not settling out of court doesn't say I'm innocent. And it, we all know, gentlemen, that uh, settling often suggests to people that you are guilty of something and you're paying them go away money. And so I have heard. So his reputation has been damaged by this woman. Some stuff behind the scenes, as as you know, I have some sources uh, close to the case, but I wanted to get your take on this, Andrea. And so, you know, you know that I believe that Manson is innocent and nothing has changed that. No, no, you don't believe he's innocent. You know, he is. We, we supposedly are supposed to live in innocent till proven guilty. So until something was proven, he is innocent. You know he is innocent. Matter of fact, she's been looking at this case, so she knows he's innocent. There's not nothing, you're, you're framing it wrong, Kurtz. In fact, some of our uh, viewers may know that uh, months ago, Esme Bianco's evidence, the evidence that she supposedly had against Manson, it leaked in uh, unintentionally in a court filing. And so several of us, including me, have seen this evidence. And I can just tell you there's nothing there, that there's nothing. In okay, so then you know he's innocent. Just say Marilyn Manson is innocent. In there that indicates Manson's guilt. In fact, there are a number of things that are rather exculpatory for him. And I look forward to talking about that at a later date. But... 
just now, based on what we just know, Andrea, what is, what's your general take on this? What's your reaction to this settlement? Yeah, oh, my reaction is this is really an unequivocal win for, for Marilyn Manson. Uh, then you're not in tune with reality then, Burkhart. This man's life has been put on hold. His reputation has been attacked and damaged. He's lost all kinds of money. He hasn't been able to work. How is this a win for him at all? Oh, also, and it's not stopping new liars from coming in and damaging his reputation. From from reality's point of view, he has a he has a he has lost. He is a loser. This is an unequivocal loss for a lot of reasons. I mean, to the extent that all of these lawsuits were. Oh, by the way, before Andrea goes any further. They'll even admit that later on in this video, which they're talking about. Pitched as some sort of movement, you know, some sort of public concern based motivation, you know, that we, we need to make the world aware of who he is. And well, thank you too, Andrea, for admitting that this is a conspiracy against him as well. Protect other people and, and yada, yada. Uh, we you know, are seeing at the end of the day that, no, it probably really is uh, just about the money. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, it's not just about the money. It's not about the money at all. It's about getting the man. It's about attacking him and, and causing him harm. This is why I mentioned that the first guys, remember, these women are not being attacked as women. If they were, if this was happening to them, they would not be saying it's about the money. They would recognize and say so that this is about an assault on them as a gender. And again, this is why women will never be allies to men. They, they, they have no incentive to admit what's going on. This is female privilege. Both these, both Burkhart and Kurtz want to uphold their own female privilege. Trust me. Of course, we don't know how much the settlement was. Uh, I did see some questions people had about, well, isn't it possible he, he didn't pay her anything at all? It's theoretically possible, but that's extremely unlikely. Uh, there's nothing that would prevent her from just dropping the lawsuit and walking away if she wanted to do that. Uh, she doesn't need his permission or, or agreement. She doesn't need to go through a mediation to do that. So it reads as though, you know, there there has been some extraction from him in, in order to get her uh, to, to, to move on. No, she hasn't moved on. She's got what she wanted. Her life, again, is not being put on hold. His is. But the statements that were released uh, are really the telling part to me. These very anodyne statements that have no apology, no admission of wrongdoing, no suggestion of even even like that kind of hedging sort of like, oh, maybe I misunderstood, you know, like nothing, no concession to her at all. Yeah, which shows you that Manson has zero leverage. This is a shakedown. He has, he is such a victim that he doesn't even have the power to force this woman to say, I'm sorry, or if I was wrong. So he's not going to get any vindication. His reputation has been damaged. This is a shakedown. Uh, which is, you would expect that if a condition like that were negotiated as part of the settlement, that would be part of the statement, you know, that's that's released uh, along with, uh, you know, the, the news. So it looks very much like this is a nuisance payment. Uh, it well, that's quite a way to frame it. And you are completely wrong. This, there's, this is nothing about nuisance. This, like, again, this is a shakedown. This is a nuisance payment in the way that a mugging is a nuisance payment. Can you imagine if someone said, yeah, uh, I was walking down the street minding my own business and I was held up. I, it was as a nuisance payment. I had to give them the 30 bucks that was in my wallet. Can you imagine someone framing that, a mugging in that way? Because this is what it is. This is... 
these ladies don't know how to frame what's going happening to Marilyn Manson. It, you know, quite frankly, it reminds me of the statement about, you know, why you hire, you don't hire a prostitute to come to you. You hire a prostitute to go away. And oh, my God, that is such an inaccurate analogy. The proper analogy is that you pay the loan shark so he doesn't break your legs. And that's what's going on with Marilyn Manson here. That's why he didn't even get an apology. Right? He's paying this woman so he, she doesn't break his legs. Uh, I really strongly... <laughs> uh, I really kind of resent these women pasting as if Manson has some kind of power or leverage in the situation. He has zero. He's a victim. And there's nothing to laugh about this. I get the impression that, uh, yeah, this was this was a pay to pay to go away situation. And quite frankly, it appears she was happy with that. Let me ask you, as an attorney who's familiar with this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. I, I don't know the amount that she settled for, but um, given that she asked for $10 million and given that she's not getting near that much and that it is apparently a nuisance payment, what would you as an attorney say, if you just had to guess ballpark, what do you think she's probably getting paid uh, for a, a go away fee here low six figures yeah yeah that's what i would imagine as well because you have to bear in mind part of this too is that can you imagine framing it like this like even if she got low six figures there are other women uh in the queue coming after him so you know a uh, hundred hundred uh, six figures times a hundred is in the millions you know what i'm saying this, the issue that Manson is dealing with is not just a single woman coming after him. That her, her lawyer's got a stake in this, you know, and that, that's always a little bit of a complicating factor. He's put in a lot of, of time that he's going to want to be compensated for. Uh, you know, they, they want to make sure that whatever she settles for is going to be enough to make everybody happy in that, in that situation. So, Yeah. She said his lawyer, and this is another thing I want to mention about men. Men have are so indifferent to other men's suffering, or, or even hostile to other men, that her lawyer, if it his lawyer is a guy, he's willing to destroy other men knowing he is a man himself, and this could happen to him. This is how bad it is. All right, so... <laughs> How does this, you know, this could this could sort of play both ways in the media for for Manson or against Manson, right? Some people will look at this and will will say, well, he's paying her money to go away, so doesn't that indicate that he's guilty? A lot of people. Thank you for admitting that. Exactly. So his reputation has been damaged by this woman. Including me, will look at this and say. Well, I think that probably because so the solution is not for him to settle. That's what that's the uh, point I want to make out. Men are at the point where paying women, hoping that they won't beat them up further is the worst idea. Because the guy is fighting a war on multiple fronts and he's paying out the ass and has been for two years now. Attorneys, major high priced attorneys. We're talking not only civil lawyers because he's got he's had multiple civil cases against him. As you know, some of those have been dropped or dismissed, but he's had multiple. OK, two things. One, it's not a war. War would suggest that he's fighting back. What this is, is a siege. Uh, Manson is high status enough that he's got a castle and the castle's being attacked on all fronts, right? That's what's going on. He's under siege. That's the one thing. And she's admitting what I said earlier. Burkhart said this was an unequivocal win. How? They said he's paying money off out of the yin-yang for two years. Kurtz is saying it. Right. Multiple civil cases filed against him in the last two years. He's also had a, a criminal, an extensive criminal investigation against him that that has drawn to a close. And as you know, the police. So he had the police up his posture to boot, which these false allegation alligators or however you say it, they don't suffer that. Right. 
police have already turned over their evidence file or their lack of evidence file, I would think, to the DA, and the DA is just sitting on it. But nothing has come of, so far of the criminal investigation, but he's had to pay a criminal attorney, you know, Blair Burke, one of the best criminal attorneys uh, in the world. He's, he's paying Howard King for all the civil stuff, also a very pricey attorney. And then I know that he's... And by the way, the average man, that's you and I, everyone, we do not have this at our disposal. We can't afford to do this. So if you're just the average guy on the street who gets uh, this false accusation, it's over. You just get lynched. So this settling is not a solution for this very serious societal issue that men face. He's also paying a crisis PR firm. All of these people cost, uh, from, from what I, my research I've done, all of these people cost $500 an hour. So he's paying $500 an hour to multiple lawyers and PR people for multiple cases and all, all kinds of stuff, right? And he's not been working since these allegations came out uh, two years ago. And this is someone who is, as I understand it, and it's not only him, but it's a lot of rock stars are in this position, Okay, so again, it's about also getting rid of his employment. And so this is not about the money. This is an attack on a man. The, the, the purpose is to kill the man. You, you destroy his reputation. You get him isolated from his social circles. And you prevent him from having employment. And so many men take their lives after that. So the purpose is this is a murder attempt. Do you understand that? Kurtz and Andrea. This is an attempted murder. We know this because so many men take their lives once they get hashtagged. These women aren't out to get money. They're out to kill Marilyn Manson, just like they were out to get Johnny Depp, right? That's the purpose of this. That's the purpose of Me Too and false allegations. Men's very lives are at stake. Where his primary income comes from touring, it does not come from royalties or from, you know, selling albums or whatever, right? Selling music. Sure. And so two years ago, his primary source of income, basically, you know, almost his only source of income was completely cut off. He hasn't worked in two years, nothing, right? And he's been just basically bleeding out cash with uh, it, it's it's with all of these all of these different multiple fronts that he's having to fight on in this war i mean it's almost like the book of job or something this guy has had everything but the kitchen sink thrown at him and he's still standing mm -hmm. and apparently he's doing well enough so that you know some of these cases are getting dismissed and these women are some of these women you know like esme are having to settle but mm -hmm. my question to you is do you and i have to say so what his reputation's been damaged he's been out of work for two years He's, his life's been put on hold. Morton put on, on hold. He's been abused for two years. And there's more women queuing up. So Burkhart, like I said, how is this an unequivocal win? Do you think that this was a good move for him to settle? Or, or do you think that this was probably something that was precipitated by literally just running out of money and having no other option? What would your guess be? Well, I think that it is likely a good move. And, you know, no, nothing, very few things are kind of unequivocally good or bad, you know. Okay, then this, you're full of shit, Burkhart. If this was happening to her sex, to the female sex, these women, Burkhart would not say what she just said there. This, it was a terrible idea. Men have been doing this for years now settling and hoping that it'll go the problem will go away and the problem has not gone away it's actually gotten worse i mean look they up here they've got marilyn manson kissing johnny depp these guys know one another they know what's going on that this problem is wide she's admitted she said this has happened to multiple rockers so men know what's going on and it, the settling hasn't done anything if again if this was happened to their gender, Burkhart would not say settling would be the best thing to do. She would say the best thing to do is for us to work together and change the system and fight for our rights as women. That's what she'd be saying. 
And that's why I'm telling you again, why these women will never be on our side. Burkhart, you should be ashamed to suggest something like this, to suggest that paying this you know, shakedown money was a good idea for Manson. One way or the other, there's there's always going to be uh, the silver lining to the cloud, as they say, or what a touch of gray. Uh, <laughs> so what's the silver lining here? But I, I think you nailed it on the head when you pointed out that the, the problem he has here is the multi-front war. And it doesn't really matter how strong your army is, how good your resources are, if you're being divided like that you're just in a weakened position. And so the more that he can eliminate these collateral things that he's having to deal with and focus on the key, you know, the core issue here, which is Evan Rachel Wood and, and Ilma Gore. Well, you don't know what's going on then. The core, they're not the core issue. They are still just a symptom. The core issue is that legally they're allowed to do it in the first place. Their, the core issue is that the media will actually lie and support these liars. The core issue is that there is no legal recourse for men. That's the core issue. These women couldn't do what they do unless the, you know, the societal systems weren't supporting them and against the men. Uh, that's going to be to his benefit. Um, that's where, from my perspective, the opportunity is for the real rehabilitation. Nobody, quite frankly, knows who Esme Bianco is or cares. So even if he goes to trial and he... <laughs> Why are you laughing? What Burkhart just admitted is that this complete nobody can take down a high-status man simply because of her sex. She's female, he's male... So she's above him. A complete nobody can take down another person simply due to their sex. I, I find nothing funny about this. And again, they can laugh because they're never going to suffer this wins you know this this is not this is not a big pr thing it's like a, it's like a, okay who cares you know he beat a lawsuit against some nobody but i care i care because i see what's going on here but being able to win the lawsuit against Evan Rachel Wood and Ilma Gore, you know, that's that's quite a different scenario. That's that's potentially game changing in terms of his ability to be able to have, you know, a comeback. So to the extent that this settlement, yeah, it's not ideal in a lot of ways, especially, you know, if you know the case is weak, uh, you, you really you want to see him be able to get that slam dunk victory, you know, from from a jury or something. But yes, as you pointed out, the cost of that is very, very high. Uh, so there's no slam dunk victory. There's no victory at all. A, a real victory would have this Esme girl, woman, thrown behind bars and his reputation vindicated and society changing its way. That would be a slam dunk victory. So... This is a complete and utter defeat for Manson. It's not ideal to have to sacrifice that kind of vindication, uh, but this is a long game that he's playing, and this is enabling him to focus his attention, focus his resources. This, not, is, this is not a game. A mugging is not a game. A shakedown is not a game. Your, uh, being a victim is not a game forces uh, on that battle that is most critical. So yeah, I think this is a smart move. It's then you're either stupid or you are someone who, let's face it, you can you can afford to be ignorant. Because again, this is not going to ever affect you. So Right. And it is a long game that he's playing. And I, I think that people need to keep in mind, he did not ask to play this game. It's not like he started all this shit and, and now he's having to, to settle with, you know, with Esme and deal with this. No, it's, it's all of this stuff. You know, I, I mentioned the trials of Job earlier. Uh, I know there are a lot of people in life who have it worse than Marilyn Manson does, but he's. No, no, I disagree. 
I wouldn't change pl my places with Manson ever. My life as an ordinary man who's going about his business is superior to Marilyn Manson. I would not trade places with him, Colonel. I live a stress-free life. I am living a better life than Manson. Anyone who has to try and say, you know, put Manson in, in a good light, they say, oh, you know, let, I know he's a high-status man. That is poor framing again. Manson, men should look at Manson and say, I don't want to be in this man's shoes really had an awful two years and he has had you know he has had multiple <laughs> on multiple fronts he he's having to fight this this war and he was not financially prepared for it i don't know the ins and outs of his finances but i you know i, I can look at the celebrity net worth uh websites just like other people can and you know and i'm not and i'm not sure how accurate these sites are but i know that prior to these allegations coming out he had an estimated net worth of, of anywhere from 10 to 30 million and then now you know these same sites are saying that it's 2.5 million which okay so this isn't a nuisance problem for him now is it these women are succeeding these feminists are getting together and these average women the average woman will happily join on with the official feminist and go after a man for the sole purpose of getting the man. That's their purpose. They're out to destroy Marilyn Manson for no other reason of because of the way he was born. That's nothing. You know, it's a lot for me, but for someone in his position who is having to fight what he's fighting, and again, he's paying out the ass five hundred dollars an hour to multiple people and not working. Uh, that is just, that is huge. And you made a really good point here about the fact that part of what's going on here, and this is what I've heard from my sources close to Manson as well, part of what's going on here is that he feels the need now to consolidate his efforts, not only consolidate his money, but consolidate his efforts on, just like you said, on the fish that, that's really the big fish. Mm -hmm. And Esme Bianco, as annoying as she is, and as annoying as it is to me that she's going to get any money at all from her lies. She's not annoying. She's a threat. Esme Bianco is not the one who initiated this whole scam, this whole conspiracy. It was. No, so who cares if she initiated? She's doing damage to him. She's responsible for her own crimes. Even Rachel Wood and her um, co conspirator, ex girlfriend, Ilma Gore, we know, and I've talked about it in my other shows, there's lots of evidence that they started recruiting women years ago, including Esme Bianco, for this. Okay, so again, you're admitting this is conspiracy. So this is, again, not about the money, right? These women aren't jumping on board just because they were offered a few bucks. The average woman on the street is hostile to the average man. And that's what's going on here. This is women seeing a man, he's been targeted, they want to destroy him for no other reason, that they are women and he is a man. And so they are the root of the problem. You know, people just need to understand that this man is suffering not only in terms of not being able to work and not only in terms of getting all this bad press and all the lies and gossip and everything, but he's suffering significantly financially for stuff that he did not do. And again, they are not the root of the problem. Because if uh, the justice system jailed them for their crimes, this would cease tomorrow. So the root of the problem is the justice system or the lack of the justice in, this, in the system for men. And so I think the idea is to consolidate his efforts, consolidate his money, and really try to go after the main, the main instigators here and really the root cause of this. And then I think that the hope is that if and when he is victorious against Evan Rachel Wood and Ilma Gore, then retrospectively then stuff like this, like, like the settlement with Esme will make a lot more sense to people and people will understand, okay, well, you know, it turns out that this was a, a huge scam and that he is innocent. And I said, well, that's not going to happen. Like you admitted, it's a settling of the court just makes you look guilty. And also what you're 
not mentioning is that the mainstream media plays men as guilty, even even when they're found out to be innocent. She knows everyone. She's had dealings. She, she has had multiple videos considering Johnny Depp and the mainstream media paints him as the criminal. So D D Manson here winning a court case is not going to solve these societal problems for men. See why he had to settle because, you know, he, he couldn't, he couldn't keep paying all this money to attorneys. And as I understand it, the options that were in front of him were either keep fighting this thing with Esme and take her all the way to court. As I understood it from my sources, that was going to be, it's going to take at least another year because it's a very slow process. So he's looking at another year and it's a year of continuing to pay all these lawyers and everything. Right. Uh, and, you know, and it's and, and another year and, and really for what, right? Because again, the main, the main culprit here is Evan Rachel Wood and Il McCor. It's, that yeah. sounds like what you're saying. Well, the one thing they're not mentioning, and which is actually an option that Manson didn't even consider, was forming a, an effective MRM. I say effective because the one we've got is garbage. And getting together with, look, they should have him kissing Johnny Depp. Those two should be working together. And getting together with all these other male artists that have been attacked and falsely accused and start working for a better society. That's the option that these guys should be taking that they don't even consider. So that's what I'm saying. That's the point of this video is that they just want to dust themselves off and dusting yourself off does not work. No, I, I think that, that that makes a lot of sense. And, and part of it too is because, you know, just because he settled with Esme Bianco does not mean that her allegations, you know, are are done and, and out of the woods now. She is still part of this conspiracy. She's still part of, you know, if nothing else, as a witness to... Thank you again, Burkhart, for admitting that this is a conspiracy. It is a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy by the female gender to attack the male gender. That's what this conspiracy is. And so for him to settle out of court is not a good decision to make. It's not a good stratagem. The case in uh, Evan, Evan Rachel Wood and, and Ilma Gore have. So that's going to be telling, I think, as that case evolves and, and we see what, if any, role as maybe Bianco ends up playing in there. You know, is she going to go testify? For Evan Rachel Wood and Ilma Gore, if she does, then every okay. We don't really need to go, go the last two minutes, whatever's left. I before I end this, I just want to point out Colonel Kurtz supports me too. She supports this hashtag that uh, attacks men like Depp and Manson. So this is why I'm, I'm repeating: these women will never be for men. They are part of the opposition. That's you, Andrea, and you, Kurtz. In the end, you are my enemy. Because as long as this woman supports me too, she supports crime against men. So what it is, men that she likes, like Manson and Depp, they should be let off the hook just because she likes them. But she wants the female privilege of attacking men at any time. I want you to know that. If these women, in order for them to actually be on men's side, they'd have to sacrifice female privilege. They are never going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to end it here.